Hi, I'm Dr. Johnson Haygood with the FACD Tip of the Month. I have a uh, full arch provisional here that I just pulled from the Siltec, and I don't like this little bleed through spot on the central right here. And I got another little bleed through spot, so I'm going to need to reline it. And so I'm going to show you a couple of uh, tips on um, adding composite to a BIS GMA uh, provisional. Uh, I'm going to put this in a little alcohol bath first. And I'm pouring the alcohol, just some rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. And I got a toothbrush. And I'm going to brush with alcohol the whole provisional. And the purpose of this is to remove the oxygen inhibited layer on the provisional so that as I adjust it, um, I'm not dealing with that gunk on the outside that gets all up in your burrs. Then I'm going to dry this. And then I'm going to use Gloss Coat by Tempart. And this is made by the people who, uh, who make uh, hydrocast denture material. So it's called Gloss Coat. And this is a great adhesive to use for relining and so I'm going to paint some of that in the areas that I want it after I've dried with alcohol the provisional. I could micro wedge too but I don't need to. It's just going to work fine without that. So I had two little spots here. I'm going to light cure that. And then I'm going to add the flowable composite of choice. In this case, it's going to be some Tetrec um, EvaFlow XL, and it's the white. The color is extra extra light. And I'm going to uh, add a little syringe here. Add directly to the area that I want. And then I'll spread it out and cure it and polish it.